I'd like to call the order the meeting of the Village Board for July 16th, 2024. Would you please join us for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Madam Clerk, would you please call the roll? President D. Simone? Here. Trustee Carmona? Here. Trustee Franz? Here. Trustee Fry? Here. Trustee Penicola? Here. Trustee Perez? Here. Six. At this time, we'll move the public comment. Does anyone wish to address the board? If so, please approach the podium and state your name. No, we haven't. I didn't. No public comment? This will conclude public comment. Mm -hmm. Is there a motion to approve the minutes from the June 18th, 2024 Village Board meeting? We have yes. a motion. Is there a second? Yes, second. second. Any modifications to the minutes? Please call the roll. Uh, Trustee Carmona? Yes. <coughs> Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Fry? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. That's five. Motion carries. The minutes are approved. The next item of business is to approve the warrant in the amount of $4,217,954.68. Is there a motion to approve? You have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. second. Any discussion on the warrant? Please call the roll. Trustee Carmona? Yes. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Fry? Yes. Trustee Panicola? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. That's fine. Motion carries and the warrant is approved. There are no items on the consent agenda. Under uh, administration, we have ordinance amending the Bensonville Village Code, Title Three, Chapter Three, liquor regulations, reducing the number of Class B liquor licenses from seven to six. Is there a motion to approve? You have a motion. I have a second. Second. Being a motion, a second. Do we have discussion? I'll hand this one off to Deputy Clerk uh, Corey Williamson. Um, so this is a Class B liquor license, which is a retail sales of liquor and spirits. Um, CVS over on Urban Park Road is had closed and. Um, Village standard practice just is to reduce the liquor license so the village board has control of the issue and should another business move in there or seek another license elsewhere. Any questions from the board? I'll just add a little bit of color to that. The uh, village staff has reached out to CBS to figure out what their plans are for it. We do have some initial interest in the property, so we're trying to connect those parties if possible. Uh, any other comments from the board? Call the roll, please. Trustee Carmona? Yes. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Fry? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. That's fine. Motion carries. The ordinance is passed. <laughs> Number two is the ordinance of the Village of Bensonville, DuPage, in Cook County, Illinois, approving a police chief employment agreement. Is there a motion to approve? You have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Being a motion, a second. Do we have discussion? Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, as previously noted at a previous Village Board meeting, the Village President has asked the police chief to stay on. So we are pleased to bring forward this extension of Chief's previous contract to go through the end of the uh, Village President's term. Any questions from the board? Please call the roll. Trustee Carmona? Yes. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Fry? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. That's fine. Motion carried and ordinance is passed. Under community and economic development is a resolution accepting a purchase and sale agreement for 112 North Center Street. Is there a motion to approve? Do you have a motion? Do have a second? Second. second. Any motion is second. Do we have discussion? Mr. Posgate. Yeah, so the, the board might recall, uh, so in April 24th uh, meeting this year, we declared 112 North Center uh, surplus. It's a vacant lot just north of downtown. Uh, we ordered an appraisal uh, that showed $48,000 in value. We received one offer from the property uh, from Manco Home Builders in that amount of 48,000. The June 18th meeting, <clears throat> we approved a letter of intent to purchase the property for that amount. We went back to Manco uh, and, and talked about the design of the, uh, the building and the kind of the project. So he intends to build, basically it's a, it's a two unit building kind of side by side. It looks very much like a single family uh, building. It'll kind of fit in the neighborhood there. It'll have a four car garage. So each unit has two cars, uh, a two car garage. Um, it's about, they're three bed, two and a half bath, about 2000 square feet, that's with a basement. Um, so we really like the product. Uh, we're really uh, excited about the, this project moving forward. We, this, this purchase and sale agreement, uh, we got 60 days to basically to finalize it after the approval here, but we won't have to come back to board to have that uh, at, you know, sale official. So staff's recommending approval of this agreement. Any questions from the board? Please call the roll. Trustee Carmona? Yes. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Fry? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. That's fine. Motion carried. Resolution is approved. Under finances, an ordinance authorizes and provides for the board uh, for the bond issuance in the amount of $1,990,000 for the Sesame Street Special Service Area 
General Obligation Bond Alternative Revenue Source Series 2024 of the Village of Bensonville, DuPage, and Cook County, Illinois, and provides for the levy and collection of a direct annual tax for the payment of the principal and interest on said bond. Is there a motion to approve? You have a motion. I have a second. 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 Being a motion and a second, do we have discussion? Thank you, Your Honor. I'll take this one. Sesame Street is a uh, dead end industrial roadway in the Cook County portion of Bensonville and has a limited number of users that use it. The road was in disrepair. The property owners in the area approached us about coming up with a plan to help uh, fix the road. Um, because it doesn't really serve the residents of Bensonville, just those limited property owners, we determined that a special service area was a financing tool that we could use to have the property owners pay for their street, essentially. Um, to do this, we will issue bonds in the amount of 1.99 million that will cover the reconstruction of Sesame Street to village standards. And then over the next 20 years, the property owners will have a special assessment on their property taxes to pay for the principal and interest of that bond. So this is a great way to rectify a problem without putting it on the backs of our residents. Any questions from our board? I just had a quick question. Was there any update on the, any of the other streets in the Cook County side about updates do, doing the same type of thing with Sesame Street? Um, we don't have the buy-in and the call from the property owners to do those at this point. We're constantly monitoring that. Um, staff feels that there's a lot of opportunity for redevelopment, especially with uh, 390 and 490 coming through. That area is going to be pretty much prime. So as we've seen with other areas, I would like to see a developer try to put some of those properties together to get bigger developments, which would then precipitate us addressing those roads. Well, frankly, a lot of those roads are being used by people who bought their property knowing the condition of the road. Uh, mm -hmm. Podlin is a dirt road, a gravel road, essentially. Um, they don't really have an interest. They always know it. So okay. we're working on it. We knew that Sesame Street, it does have Class A industrial on it. Um, and so it wouldn't get assembled in any manner. And it's going to be there for the foreseeable future. So this is the property that we want to address first. OK. No, thank you. Please call the roll. Trustee Carmona? Yes. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Fry? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. That's fine. Motion carries and ordinance is passed. Under public works is a resolution authorizing the execution of a purchase order to the DuPage River Salt Creek Work Group, DR SCW, for the 2024 2025 annual dues in the not to exceed amount of $12,429. Is there a motion to approve? You have a motion? We have a second. Second. Being a motion and a second. Joe, we have discussion? Yeah, so this is our annual dues for the DuPage River Salt Creek Work Group. This is a group of communities that got together to be stewards of our creeks and our wastewater treatment plants. By participating in this each year, we are keeping some of our probably more restrictive uh, opportunities for the EPA to kind of dwindle down on some of our nutrient removal at our wastewater treatment plant. Um, so as part of our wastewater permit, as long as we are members of the DuPage River Salt Creek Work Group, we are keeping a much higher limit than what the EPA would like to see in our plant. So the, the $12,429 is actually probably saving us a good $100,000 in upgrades to our plant each year just to keep our phosphorus and other nutrients down. So um, staff does recommend continuing our membership in the, in the group. Any questions from the board? Please call the roll. Excuse me. Trustee Carmona? Yes. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Fry? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. That's fine. Motion carries. The resolution is approved. At this time, I'd like to strike item number two from the agenda. Moving on to number three, the resolution authorizing the execution of change order number one, final, with Utility Dynamics Corporation for the 2022 CDBG annual residential streetlight project for a decrease of $27,873.50 for a revised contract cost of $481,887.50. Is there a motion to approve? We have, a motion. We have a second. Second. Being a motion is second. Do we have discussion? So this is a project that is 99% uh, complete. We are just waiting for ComEd to schedule the actual hookup of the 47 streetlights that we put in as part of this project. Um, so we are comfortable at this point with the contractor and all the work that they've done to say that the project is complete from their perspective. We'd like to close this project out and finalize all of our community development block grant money that we got for this project. So um, we do have a decrease um, in the amount of $27,873.50. That brings our final cost to $481,877.50. Just for reference, our grant through the community development block grant was $481,425, so we basically paid $462.50 for 47 streetlights this year. So it's our staff's recommendation to approve this change order. Does it, does it matter that I said 
it says on here 481887 and he said 877 or was that 887 is probably correct 88 sorry okay yep. just want to make sure thank you okay any questions from the board please call the roll trustee carmona yes trustee france yes trustee fry yes trustee Penicola. yes trustee perez yes that's fine motion carries resolution is approved Four is a resolution authorizing the execution of a contract with Alba Painting Incorporated for the painting of the ceiling structure, ceiling and structural steel at the Aquatic Center and not to exceed amount of $50,950. Is there a motion to approve? You have a motion. We have a second. second. Being a motion is second. We have discussion. So we've been trying to plan the uh, repainting of some of our structural steel beams that are at the roof of the Aquatic Center for a couple of years now. Um, scheduling has always been our biggest concern. So we've been able to actually go out and do proposals to have... Um, the painting done while our pool is going to be out of service for a couple of months. Um, we requested proposals from th three different firms. Uh, Alba Painting we submitted the lowest proposal in the amount of $50,950. Uh, so we are looking to approve this contract. Staff does recommend approval, and we hope to get this done in the next couple of months. Questions from the board? Please call the roll. Trustee Carmona? Yes. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Fry? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. That's fine. Motion carries and the resolution is approved. We do not have anything for recreation. A uh, couple of presidential remarks. Music in the Park continues every Wednesday evening at Center and Main Street. Come out and enjoy the food, car show, and of course, the amazing bands. See the Village website for band schedules and more information. National Night Out will be held on Tuesday, August 6th from 6 to 8 at Center and Main. There will be games, a car show, food, and more. So there, this is a, a family-friendly event that is hosted by the Bentsville Police Department. Please see the village website for more information. That concludes presidential remarks. Uh, village manager's report, please. Thank you, Your Honor. I want to start off, and this is a, he doesn't know this, I'm going to do this, but I want to introduce Anthony Aguilar in the back. Anthony is our finance intern for the summer. Anthony's got a great little story. He started out as a public work seasonal, um, and then when we found out that he was going to school for accounting and finance, we said, hey, we need more people in public accounting and finance. So we made some room for him in the budget and brought him on as an intern. He's been doing great work for us and uh, getting his, he's got a hungry guy who's uh, getting out there. And so good to have you here, Anthony. Thank you. Um, other items is construction and repaving project here at Village Hall for the lot on Addison has begun. If uh, all you probably saw that, it's about a three month project. Uh, when it's done, it will uh, be returned to uh, standards that are acceptable. It's getting pretty beat up out there. So we just ask that everybody, when you're around Village Hall, exercise some caution. There's uh, construction equipment, uh, workers. So just take note of that, and we should have that wrapped up in this construction season. And then on a final note, I, I do want to recognize that we, uh, staff has been receiving an uptick in rodent complaints around town. Um, the Village has a pretty robust integrated pest management plan that we use internally, which involves um, our staff going out and visiting sites where rodents have been uh, reported. Uh, we do have bait stations. We have two contractors that are working to address areas, but we do need our residents' help. Um, so rodents need two things, food and habitat. So if we can work to address the food, that's fruit trees, bird feeders, pet food, trash, um, get that out of the way and in acceptable containers that removes the food. And then habitat would be tall grass, clutter, overgrown bushes, um, when we go out to places that have an infestation, we want to make sure that that's all been addressed. A lot of this is being driven by construction of things like the tollway. Um, so we are amending our codes to require that anytime we're disturbing ground in a construction site, that there's a road and abatement plan put in place ahead of that. So uh, we're trying to get our arms around it, but we can't do it on our own and need a little bit of help from the residents. Uh, that concludes my report, Mr. President. If I could add one thing to that as well. Uh, we do have a special brush pickup that's going to happen next week due to the storms from the last couple of nights. So starting on Monday, we'll do a normal brush pickup for uh, go through the entire town. Uh, so if you do have brush from the storm, please get that out on your parkways before 7 o'clock on Monday morning, and Public Works will come pick that up next week. Perfect. Public Works has been doing an excellent job from that storm. They were in last night and worked all day today and uh, cleaning up town. So that was an interesting storm we came through. Thanks for your work, guys. Same with the email. Phil's attorney's report. I have no report. Is there any unfinished business to come before the board tonight? We have none. Any new business coming before the board tonight? Seeing none. Do we have a need for executive session? We do not. Is there a motion to adjourn? You have a motion. Do I have a second? second? Please call the roll. Trustee Carmona? Yes. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Fry? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. That's fine. Motion carries. We are adjourned, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much.